Welcome back to the channel guys. It is May the 5th, Thursday, and uh, my name is Daniel and you're watching Triple R Farms and uh, here's what we got on tap for today. Uh, we got finished planting uh, soybeans in the Togville yesterday. We got moved home in the valley and we got started uh, after lunch planting over there with both planters. And uh, I got my rogator and everything moved and started spraying over there. And that's pretty much how we ended up uh, yesterday afternoon when we quit. So uh, what we got today, uh, first thing I got to do is uh, I'm running out of molly. I got 255 gallons that we got to uh, start pouring up some jugs. Uh, I got to get that set up this morning. Philip has got on his planter row number seven has been driving him crazy. Uh, it's been reading like low population of like 90,000 and then it'll go all the way up to like 130 so what we're gonna do this morning uh, we're gonna try to put in a brand new seed tube and uh, just see if that corrects the problem if it doesn't then we got another issue with that row probably with the SRM or maybe low voltage or something like that but that's that's the first step throw a new seed tube in and uh, see what happens um, other than that, we got to load the seed tender with a uh, soybean seed first thing this morning. And um, uh, depth, I think Dad needs some depth. But uh, basically, once we get all that done, we'll get to planting over in the valley and we'll be over there all day. We've got rain coming tomorrow, so we're going to put a good day in today and uh, see how much we can get done. So, uh, y'all sit back, enjoy the video, and uh, we'll do all the work. Let's get this video started. Oh gosh. That's the last one. Huh? That's the last one. It's all this variety. Yeah, all the same. Yeah. Oh, Wayne. <laughs> That's uncomfortable. What's today? The fifth? Uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Is today Cinco de Mayo? Dad looks like he's working on Phyllis planter, the roof that's not working right. That's the first thing on the list is get the planters going first and then we'll worry about, I'll worry about getting my sprayer and stuff, but the most important thing is get these babies running. All right, gotta put this hopper on. You can go let it down. It'll be so high. Make sure everything ain't no trash in there. So this is the one he said had low voltage. I think it, it may have something restricted. I don't think you're gonna go any mud today. Got a scraper messed up on which one? Red sleeves by 
this afternoon. <laughs> All that stuff volatilized. So well, we'll just go ahead and reset the modules. Yes, I want to reset them. The Wave Vision firmware is currently being updated. Data will be unavailable until the update is complete. Refer to the diagnostic tab. Oh boy. Well, I hope I didn't mess it up, but we'll see. It's doing some kind of firmware update. Boy, that's not good. Row number seven showing red. It said the seed. What did it say? Well, shucks. Sure. Yeah, that's not good. All right, it's hooked up. All right, there's the SRM light up there. It's blinking. I don't know if it's supposed to be blinking or steady. Let's check out another row. Well, that row is blinking just like it. All right, maybe we're good. Let me go back up there and reset it. All right, let's try this again. Reset modules. Yes, I want to. All right. How about that guys, we're good to go. Okay, it recognized it now, so everything checked out, we're good to go. Where's Mark going? Okay, next on the list is this pivot right here needs to walk this way. We're not ready to plant this field, but uh, you'll see later on today, I'll have James out here. James is going to get the road scraped, and we've got two main ditches that cut across this field. They go perpendicular to the rows. They go straight across to those woods and get in a ditch and uh, drain down that ditch. There's one right there and there's one uh, farther down the field. But these ditches right here over the last two, three years of planters crossing it and combines and everything, it's just got ruts uh, all the way down it. So he's bringing the road scrape. He's gonna clean these ditches out while it's good and dry because normally they're wet, but uh, we're gonna catch it right now while it's dry, clean them out, and uh, that way they'll drain all summer. So unfortunately, we gotta crank a pivot motor up and I have not been in this shed yet, so um, and these, this one and that one over there are notorious for having tons of wasps. So uh, let's get our ammunition and uh, let's see if we can get this thing cranked up. There we go. Oh, 
where was this down? Should I do it? Should I do it? Sure. Oh, come on. I've had a huge nest right here one time. I mean, a monster nest. We look pretty good, though. All right, maybe. Maybe they're going to leave us alone this year. God, they need some motor oil. There you go. We got to go get some motor oil. Well, there's one. The nest right back there. Go ahead and get him out of the way. Crank this baby up. First time cranking it up this year, so we'll do the normal procedure. Bump the starter, get out of here, see what's flying around, looks good. Come back in here, we'll crank it up for good the second time. Woo. Hello. See anything? This is a kill switch right here. So if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to turn it off at a certain spot in the field, you set this little thing up right here. It comes around, and hits a kill switch, and uh, cuts it off. Well, that'll be good to go now. We got Mark right there. He's in the uh, tractor with the land all discs. There's a few more ruts on the back part of this field he needs to go do. So he's gonna go touch those up and smooth them out. And then he's gonna be headed up there to Billy Morgan. He's got a disc all of Billy Morgan. Uh, let's see, James, you saw, James is on the road scrape over there, cleaning out that ditch. He's doing a really good job. It's gonna take several passes uh, back and forth, moving a little bit of dirt at a time and then moving it away from the ditch. So he's got pretty much all day cleaning those two ditches out. And if he gets through, we'll get him on another ditch. It's just uh, something that we have to do. I guess you could call it ditch maintenance. Uh, every few years we have to uh, go in there and clean them out. Try to keep the tractors uh, from crossing it, but for, for some reason, we end up with a bunch of tracks across all the ditches. And uh, anyway, it, it just won't let the water flow through there like it needs to, so. We just have to go in there and clean them out. So Dad and them are filling up with seed and uh, chemical, and then they're uh, moving into another field. They're moving into the Edwards, I think. And uh, they're both gonna be running in the same field. So all I gotta do is finish where, I, where I'm at and then I'll be joining them and hopefully I can get ahead of them uh, this afternoon because uh, Little T's got a baseball game I, I would like to attend if I, if I can get out ahead of the planter. So that's the plan right now. We're gonna grab some lunch and then we're uh, gonna regroup and uh, get back after. We got back there and looked and they were all spraying. Then he cleaned out his strainer and it was pretty dirty. It was dirty. Good lord. Yeah, I went through. Huh? I threw a muddy spot over yonder.
Okay, they both made it into the Edwards field number two. Now I said the conditions over there are perfect. Uh, that's kind of a, tends to be a little more on the wet side, that type of dirt over there. And uh, the beds are perfect conditions. And you said there's moisture, smooth as glass. Uh, he's going about six miles an hour. Said it's just excellent conditions. So um, they've been over there for about 30 minutes. So I'm, uh, I'm gonna jump in the row gator and go finish the soybean field. And then we'll jump into the Edwards and we'll see if we can get ahead of them. But uh, everything is working fine right now, both planters and sprayers. So uh, I guess you hold your breath, is that what you do? That's what we're gonna be doing. sure why dad just took off but he was in a hurry going somewhere probably had to take care of something at the office but uh philip's gonna fill up a seed i think dad's gonna go ahead and fill up when he gets back fill up a seed and then that'll probably last him the rest of the day i'm almost finished i'm over halfway finished in this field that they're in I just filled up so this load will jump out way ahead of them and i'll be about 100 acres ahead of them so uh, they'll never catch me after that load let's go put this load out and uh, then we'll regroup and see where we are james got through cutting the ditches over there did an excellent job he's really good at doing stuff like that he's going to scrape uh, a little section of the road on the way out and then he's going to get on the j m rolling basket he's going to touch up where mark was isking today in the wet spot and then he uh is going up to billy morgan he'll jump in behind mark finish out the day so uh everybody's working hard today been a wonderful day here on the farm low 90s beautiful skies uh just perfect weather for uh for farming and uh we are sure enjoying it and everybody's working good and uh we're knocking back some acres here at triple r farm so uh let's get back at it and let's see if we can wrap up this video yeah one more thing before we end this video uh i had the drone with me today i took some video this morning of us planting and uh spraying and i also got a uh, little glimpse of the new timber crew that's up there working so um anyway let's uh let's roll that footage and uh then we'll end this video so uh roll it
all right guys that's gonna be it for the video uh i got a pretty good jump on the planters uh there's no way that they will uh catch me this afternoon they just filled up with seed they just filled up with water so uh they're pretty much taken care of the rest of the afternoon so i think i'm gonna skip on out of here and go watch little t uh play some baseball tonight so as for the rain um we really would like a good rain a good one inch rain would do a lot of good things for us number one it would soften the ground the ground's getting really hard right now and number two the beans we planted they would they need a good rain to get them all up um and then number three the corn all the corn's getting pretty dry so we'll just see what happens uh supposed to come through in the morning uh, so you'll just have to watch uh, the next video to see if we got any rain. But that's going to be all for this week, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you don't mind, click the thumb. If you like the video, click triple R if you haven't subscribed. And uh, guys, we'll see you all next week. We're out of here. See ya.